Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Kellen here with Droid Life. And we're taking a look today at Google's brand new camera app that has been released to Google Play. So as you can see here, I've got it running on my Nexus 5, but the Galaxy S5 in the background there will run it as well. It actually works on any device running 4.4 plus. So if you've got KitKat, Moto X, you know, whatever, you could run this new camera app. Uh, now it does some new things, like there's a lens blur effect, takes high res panoramas, and uh, the UI has actually been completely redone. So. If we jump into it here, you can see right away how different the UI is compared to the original uh, stock sort of camera app. Uh, if you swipe to the right, here's all your options. So you've got Photosphere, Panorama, Lens Blur, which is the new guy, camera and video. Let's just start with camera just to show you the basics here. Uh, it's tap to focus just like almost every other camera out there. And then you have this massive sort of black shutter button over here on the right. Now you may have missed this, but when you tap a photo, you can see that little peak there. It's, it's showing you that your picture is peaked in a swipe over is how you actually get to it. So nothing's really changed there. It's just a different animation. Uh, you can swipe back and get back. So uh, menu button up here gets you to front facing camera toggle or flash or HDR, or you can turn a grid on if you'd like. And then I also have a button down here for manual exposure, which I will show you how to enable uh, right now actually. So if you swipe over and then get into the settings menu up top, you can adjust things in here like camera resolution, video resolution. You can adjust the quality of panoramas. And again, the new guy, which is lens blur, you can adjust the quality there as well. Uh, but in settings, there's an option for advanced, which is where your manual exposure is. So if you want manual exposure, you have to enable it. And that's where you would do it from. Uh, but back to the camera. So again, swipe to the left. You can see photosphere and uh, panorama and lens blur and all this stuff. Uh, if we quickly go to panorama though, just to show you guys, you guys know how to do this. You kind of just connect the dots, sweep back and forth and create a panorama. Photosphere though, uh, we've done enough tutorials of this, but with this app now being on Google Play, that means that everyone has photospheres, at least if you're running 4.4 plus. And this is one of those things that was exclusive to Nexus devices for a while. You know, we've seen some other people create it, but it's kind of cool that it's for everyone. Uh, lens blur. Now this is the new guy. Essentially what you do here is tap to focus on an area and then you do this kind of sweeping motion in order to create that sort of bokeh effect, if you will, that sort of lens blur. Now I'm terrible at this and I keep getting errors, uh, but essentially what you do, and we'll try this again. So you take a photo and you just kind of raise up your device and it must do that to capture depth information. And if you do it right, you'll see it says processing image and it takes a little bit of time. Now, if you upped the quality here, that would obviously take more. Uh, once done though, you have this little option here and uh, you can tap on it and it will then take you into a slider for the blur effect. So the first thing you can do is tap to focus on the area you want to stay clear and then you drag the slider around to adjust the blur. So you can see if I go all the way to the right, it really blurs out everything around the giant bug droid here or we could go less blur if you want. So you can really adjust the effect and uh, you can even tap in the back here. So if I go on to this Diet Coke can, it should start blurring everything else around it. So I can drag this way over and then you see bug droid is completely blurred out then. So it does adjust after the fact and it creates sort of a cool idea or cool effect uh, that you can get that you would normally need with, you know, like a high end DSLR or something like that, or what HTC has tried to do with two lenses. Google is clearly doing it here with one. Now the quality you may want to adjust, but um, for the most part, it's kind of a cool idea that, uh, that almost everyone can take advantage of. Um, anyways, though, this is the brand new Google camera. We'll obviously test out, you know, some quality and we'll let you guys play with it. You can download it now. And again, that manual exposure, you may want to enable if you're into that. Uh, but for the most part, really liking the changes, like the new blur effect, ready to test out all this other high quality stuff. So if you've got comments, questions, let us know. We're Droid Life. We're out. Peace.